Hello. So this is going to be an introduction to JavaScript programming. Um, so I'm going to be using something called Sublime Text, which you can just download from Google for free. So type in Sublime Text into Google and click here, download it. Sublime Text is basically just a fancy notepad or text editor. If you're using Windows, you can just use a notepad. Uh, if you're using Mac, I would just get Sublime because uh, Mac doesn't really have a notepad. But um, all this does is it just types text and nothing else. Uh, it kind of does it a little bit more fancily than Notepad because um, you can kind of see as I get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Sublime here. I'm just going to, well, I'll leave this here for now. But let's save this, give this a name. Let's just call it uh, JavaScript introduction html we need the html at the end because we're going to be making a really simple web page in this introduction so i'm going to save it um, i have it already let me just replace it what i'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that file um, so this is the javascript introduction file that we just made and what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, open it with google chrome so as you can see, we have nothing here, obviously. But let's add something to the page now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first um, add an HTML thing here. And you can see that my Sublime kind of automatically completes that. Um, I can actually type in, but this is just basically two spaces. So I'm doing two spaces here. I can type in body tab, and it'll do that automatically. Or you can just type that in yourself. Um, you know, I can just type it in longhand. I'm going to make a div here, which is basically the uh, kind of the standard container for anything that we make for a web page. I'm just going to type in hello here, and I'm going to save it. And then now if I refresh my browser here, you'll see that the hello has shown up there. And this is just the most basic of web pages. Um, there's two things we can add to it. We can add CSS and we can add JavaScript to it to make it more interesting. So let's start with some CSS. For CSS, we're going to put our CSS inside of a head bracket. Again, if you don't have Sublime, you can just type it in uh, manually, but it's so much faster and easier with uh, something like Sublime. And for CSS, we put them inside of style brackets. So I'm going to, um, you can see I have a body here and a div here. We can style those individually. So I can type in body here. This is CSS, this is not JavaScript, but um, it's part of, you know, making web pages. So body, let's make the background, I don't know, black or something. This is just the most basic of, and I really, oh, well, we can't see the font anymore. You can see that this hello is inside of a div. So we can style our div now. We can make the color, let's make it white, just to make it simple. And now we can see the text again. Let's make the text a little bit bigger. So font size, let's make it um, 100 pixels. And then let's refresh this. See, it's big now. And then let's put it in the center. Text align center. And now it's in the middle. So now let's try some JavaScript. For JavaScript, we put them inside of script tags. So we're going to put script there. And we're just going to do the most basic of things here. Uh, there's so much more you can do, but this is just an introduction. We'll keep things really, really simple here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Uh, we call it an element here. And to do that, we're going to give this div an ID. Let's just give it ID of hello world. Um, and in HTML, we use dashes between the words. In JavaScript, we use something called camel case. So if we wanted to refer to hello world, we would do something like hello world. This isn't necessary, but it's just kind of convention. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that hello world element by doing this. We're going to create a variable. And, uh, you know, we'll learn more about this in the future, but this is just uh, to get your feet wet, just to kind of play around for a little bit. We're going to just call it the hello world element. And it's going to be equal to document. Document is basically this entire page. And we're going to call a method called get element by ID. And the ID we're going to grab is going to be this hello world right there. 
So let's type in hello world. So now this hello world element variable basically represents this uh, element or this div right there. What we're going to do is, uh, and normally we don't use this because this is just the most basic stuff. Usually we have like libraries to help us do things in a more efficient way. But what we're going to do is we're going to do hello world, and there's an autocomplete here. We're going to add an event listener. Again, you might not know exactly what this is doing yet, but this is just to kind of play around and to see what JavaScript can do. Uh, we're going to add an event listener, click, which means that when we click this element, we're going to do something in response. And so let's, uh, we're going to write a function here. Function is basically, uh, it just kind of does whatever we tell it to do inside of these brackets. And so what we want to do is when we click, we want to change the text inside of that hello world element. So let's just say um, hello world element dot inner HTML. This is basically uh, what's inside of these elements here, which is this hello. We're going to change it to goodbye. And we're going to put a semi, oh, let's put this inside of quotes, goodbye. Let's put a semicolon here. So now when we click this, I, I'm going to save it. I'm going to refresh this. Now when I click this, it's going to turn into goodbye. And that's what JavaScript does. It allows you to interact with things on a web page. Now, before we end for this video, let's just make this a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's say, let's add a conditional here. We're going to delete that eventually there. We're going to say if hello world element inner HTML, if it's equal to, and this triple equal means that we're not going to set it here. We're, we're going to check to see what it is equal to. So if it's equal to hello, which is what we set it to up here, um, we are going to then set it to, then we're going to set it to goodbye. And then else, so basically if it's anything else, and in this case, the only thing else that it would be would be goodbye. Uh, we're going to set it to hello. We'll just back to hello. I'm a little bit sick right now, so my voice is kind of messed up. But uh, let's get rid of this stuff right here. Uh, all right, so we're going to save this. We're going to refresh this. So now every time we click it, uh, oh, I forgot the inner HTML here. And let's add an exclamation point here, just consistent. So now, uh, I'm, first I'm going to refresh it. Now, if it's equal to hello, it's going to switch to goodbye. If it's anything else, it's going to switch back to hello. And if you just keep on clicking, it's going to switch around like that. Um, so that is basically how JavaScript works. There's a ton more that you could do, but you can just kind of see that uh, the HTML kind of it displays what's on the page. CSS styles it. It's basically shows you how it's going to look, and then the uh, JavaScript basically allows you to interact with what's on the page. So that is an introduction to JavaScript. Uh, you can see that it's super easy to um, learn and to kind of figure out. All you need is a text editor. Just start typing away, and you can st start doing cool stuff like this. Uh, this is really isn't that cool, but it's just kind of an introduction. Um, in future videos, we'll uh, do more interesting stuff with these things. But that's it for now. All right, bye.